Now, business plans, if we're in business, and we've been in business for any length of time, we've all at some stage or other had to prepare a business plan, generally for the bank, um, and we usually flick it to somebody else, and prepare me a business plan, the bank want a business plan, and it goes in a drawer, and it's never ever seen again, never used, it's got no value to us, it was only for somebody else. However, if you use a one-page business plan, and if you're interested in our template for a one-page business plan, put on your feedback sheet, I would like a copy of the template for a one-page business plan, and we'll send it to you. But if you've got it on a one-page business plan, then you can keep it on your desk and you can look at it regularly. You can remind yourself what it is that I'm trying to do. So forget the 100 page business plans and just do yourself a one pager. Now this, this is one of my favorites. 90 day rolling action plans. I mean, the, the name describes it, doesn't it? Action plans. This is all about action. And what I discovered is that 90 days is a nice period in which we can really achieve something, but it's short enough that we can get really detailed about it. When we were running our practice before we sold it, every 90 days, the staff and I would sit down together and we would prepare the next 90 days. And in it, again, if you'd like a template for um, a 90 day action plan, then just put it on your feedback sheet. Um, run out of room on the front, just write it on the back. Um, and we would always work off of 90 day action plans. And when we would get to the end, coming up towards the end of the, the 90 day period, we would then draft the next one. So oh, that's why I call them rolling. So they go on and on, but they're all 90 days. Gives you focus. And those 90 day business plans, uh, action plans are based upon your one day um, business plan. So that you're constantly focusing upon what you're going to do in the next 90 days. If you haven't tried them, they're magic. Huh. Social media. You, learn, you need to learn how to use social media. Uh, I got involved in social media, what, about four years ago now? And once I understood what social media did, we doubled our net profit every year for the three years up until when we sold the practice. All right, that's net. We didn't double the turnover. We doubled our net profit every year for the three years leading up to the sale of our practice. And what did we do? We used social media. And how much did it cost us? Very, very little. Um, there's a camera and a tripod, but you don't need all of that. You can, in actual fact, do videos on your phone, or you can use a webcam on your computer um, and, uh, and a mic. Although your webcam will, if you buy a decent webcam, and we can tell you which webcam to buy this, that will give you a good result. Um, you can do videos, and videos were one of the most powerful tools that we found worked for building the business. Now, looking at me, you know, you, you got to say I got a good head for radio. You know, I, I'm not exactly um, star material. My presentation skills are definitely not <coughs> star material. But what happened was that people would see my videos 
and they would either go, this guy's making sense, or he's a dill, an idiot. Now either reaction is fine, because the ones that thought I'm an idiot, they never came and wasted my time. They didn't come and kick my tires, they went somewhere else. The people that came and saw me were the ones that thought that I was making sense and felt that they could relate to me. And so it worked brilliantly. So it was very cheap. We used email, we used LinkedIn. Um, LinkedIn, in actual fact, have um, an index which you can access, which is called the SSI. Can't remember what it stands for now. But Microsoft, when LinkedIn first brought out this SSI, they, the marketing manager of Microsoft told all his staff to ignore it. He said, it's just another ploy by LinkedIn to spend more of our money. So he said, ignore it. Two years later, they were absolutely evangelical about this SSI. Social selling index. Social selling index. Thank you. Um, they were absolutely passionate about um, this SSI. And the reason why was that they, once they started following it, what they found was that any one of their employees, their salespeople, that had an SSI index over 70, produced five times as much revenue as those that were under 70. Now the average in Australia